When it comes to pillow talk, finance and assets aren't exactly at the top of the list. Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it was something for everyone. Uh -huh. uh, but when money issues are the main cause of divorce, having those conversations are vital if things are going to work. That's right, our relationship expert. Melissa Ferrari joins us now with the do's and don'ts of money talking relationship. Melissa, where do we start to have this conversation? Because it is awkward mm. and you need to have it. You do, because you need to be able to set up the relationship and money is an important part. So always approaching it, as I always say, with a friendly, confident smile, approaching your partner with, hey, we need to talk about this. I notice that you spend money a little bit more than I do and it worries me. But the most important thing is that when you're having this conversation is that you put the relationship first. Mm. And what I mean by that is that the integrity of the relationship stays intact and this doesn't become an argument. Because what you're doing here, you're managing something external to the relationship. We call it the management of thirds. Anything that's, that's external to you two as a couple, you need to really be able to manage it well. And as well as in-laws, you know, sex, all of these other things, money's up there at the top of the list. So it can be a tricky one. What about, because obviously everyone doesn't earn the same amount of money. So if you're wanting to split the cost, what do you do if you can't split 50-50? Well, you've always got to consider that we're all sort of shaped around money from our histories, right? Some people come from families that were wealthy, you know, some, some don't. And so you've got to be able to work with that together. So being really conscious, you know, you might decide, will we have joint funds and independent funds? Will we have a little bit of b both? managing each other's insecurities because money, we all know that feeling of when the bank account gets low. It can be, oh boy, you know, we've mm. overspent, there can be a bit of a panic. One of you is probably going to get insecure about that. And being a good couple, you know, we can't just outsource insecurities. We can't just say, go talk That's to a friend. That's what therapists are for. Well, well they, they, they are, <laughs> they are, it's true. But you can actually be your partner's therapist if you can learn to get this right. And you can charge them. You, well, <laughs> That's what you're that saying. That doesn't you help can, out the can, bottom line, can, though, it really, does it? <laughs> what about, like, you just mentioned shared accounts before. Is that mm. still a good way to go? Or is the modern way of thinking one shared account and then you both have individuals? Look, I think a shared account does represent a consciousness to the relationship that we're a couple. Mm. OK? Now, that's my thoughts on it. Of course people are going to say, I'm holding on to my, my money and you hold on to your money. But interestingly, how that can bring a new insecurity in the relationship that you've got to deal with, particularly if both of, one of you wants to join funds. So all of this has to be navigated really carefully, you know. This whole thing with relationships and slowing things down, navigating things carefully, this is really hard work. Mm. And what if you're in a new relationship? Like, at what point do you you need to start having these conversations? Well, I think once you've established that you are a couple and you've been together a little while and there's going to be, you know, a future, it's important that, you know, you, 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 be, you be positive again in how you approach it and, and you make sure that you're clear on what you want. You know, clarity is really, really important. What's be prepared to leave? What does that mean? That well, I, I, think, I, think, I think that you need to be able to, that if someone is not collaborative in this way, if you are with somebody that is causing you that much anxiety around around um, money, money mm. and you're getting to a point where it's starting to really affect your mental health yep. it, and it will you know money, yeah. money can be a big thing you do have to be prepared to end the relationship unfortunately oh. because that's a state that you don't want to be in for mm. a well long time. you know what you don't get rings like you've got in your fingers with that you know. <laughs> <laughs> Not knowing what to do with money. Out of budget. Yeah, or have good friends. That's right. <laughs> Thanks, Melissa. Thank, Thank you. you.